Yes, you guys read the title of today's video correctly. This is going to be a what's on my iPhone fall edition. I'm fully aware that it's currently August, but I am so over summer. I'm just super excited for the fall season. I need it to get here like this because I'm over the 100 degree temperatures every single day. I also feel like I didn't really get to enjoy fall last year because I had really bad morning sickness. So I didn't really get to like decorate as much as I normally would. I just wasn't in the mood for anything related to fall. I don't even think we even celebrated Halloween. And I know I cooked for Thanksgiving, but I don't even think I was able to enjoy my meal because of morning sickness so i'm just really excited for the fall season this year plus our son is here and he'll get to experience fall for the first time yeah i'm over summer goodbye and i'm ready to bring on all the fall content i thought it'd be fun to start with a what's on my iphone and i recently redid my iphone in a fall theme and i haven't updated my phone since spring of this year and i was just in need of a change and i'm really happy with how my phone turned out so i thought i would share a updated what's on my iPhone. You guys seem to really enjoy these types of videos from me, so let's just get started. My lock screen is actually a picture of my husband and our baby boy. I love this picture. Normally, I put a collage for my lock screen, but I'm in love with this picture, so I decided to just put it on my lock screen. Can you tell that I'm a mom now? I love unlocking my phone and seeing this picture. Once I unlock my phone, this is the first page. I only have three pages if you count going going to the left or I guess slide right depending on your POV. When you slide to the right, I have a couple widgets. First widget is a battery charge widget and it basically just lets me know how much battery I have left on my phone. If I'm using my AirPods, it also tells me the percentage of battery I have left for my AirPods and for my Apple Watch. And then below that, I just have a weather widget. I love having this weather widget on my phone just because I can quickly see what the temperature is outside and I can also see what the temperature and the weather is going to be like for the rest of the week without having to go online and checking a lot easier less steps this way and then below the weather widget I have a little timer app I think the app is called timers and I really just love this app more than the timer app that the iPhone comes with it's super easy to use for some reason I use this app a lot so I like having it easily accessible and then underneath the timer widget I have the shop widget so if you're unfamiliar with the shop app it basically keeps all of your orders in one place so you can easily track all of your orders without having to log into different emails or without having to go through your inbox and try to find a shipment email. It's super convenient so if you are a little shopaholic like I am, this app is a must have for your phone. For the background, I just have this really pretty picture of a rainy window. I actually found this on Pinterest. I found all of the pictures that are on my home screen on Pinterest. Pinterest and I just really wanted something that was super cozy and that would remind me of fall and I feel like a rainy window reminds me of fall for some reason and I thought it went really well with the app icons that I have and the little pictures that I have sprinkled throughout my home screen. I actually decided on my home screen wallpaper last because I wanted to have everything set up first and then the wallpaper was just like the icing on the cake. So for the first page of my home screen, I just have a calendar widget. Like I said, it's August this third this is from the app widget smith i just customized it and changed the color so i made it brown with a little cream color for the numbers really love having the calendar widget front and center on my phone because i like to keep track of what day it is especially with a kid i feel like you can easily lose track of time and lose track of what day of the week it is so i really like having the calendar widget front and center on my phone so i always know what day it is for the two little pictures i just love these little two pictures that I found off Pinterest. It just screams fall to me and it just gives me the best cozy vibe. That is the theme of my iPhone. I just wanted cozy fall vibes. So I love cinnamon rolls. So I love that picture. And then right below that little widget, I have a picture of a bookstore because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge book lover. I love to read. I love books. So I thought that would be perfect for my phone. And for the apps next to those two pictures, I have YouTube. There are no 
know what YouTube is. I have the studio app, which is YouTube Studio, and it basically is for content creators here on YouTube. It helps me keep track of comments, my analytics. I can easily respond to comments from you guys. I can edit video. Well, I can edit like descriptions, tags of videos, things like that. And then of course I have the Pinterest app. You guys know I'm always on Pinterest. It's probably my all-time favorite app. I love Pinterest more than I love YouTube and Instagram, if that tells you anything. Like I love this app so much. So definitely follow me on Pinterest. And then I have Goodreads. This is basically where I talk about the books that I read. I update, well, I try to update my Goodreads every time I finish a book and I give you guys my rating on the book that I read. So if you wanna follow me on Goodreads because you are also a book lover, definitely follow me. Then I just have my work email and then I have Instagram. You guys already know, I love Instagram. I'm trying to be more consistent with Instagram. I feel like I always say that in these what's on my iPhone videos, but I really am trying to be consistent and upload more just because I feel like for the month of July, I didn't really upload as many reels or pictures as I normally do so i really need to get back on my instagram game this month and then i have safari safari app of amazon as well so for the first home page i like to keep the apps that i use almost every single day so i keep only the essential apps on the first page of my home screen i don't like to bombard my home screens with tons of apps if i need another app like a banking app i just go to my app library and find like the chase or discover app just because i don't use those apps every single day so why clutter my phone i love my home screen to be simple minimal and straight to the point when you swipe to the left the second home page or the third home page depending i have a bunch of widgets most of these widgets are just like little pictures that i found on pinterest that i thought would make my phone look and feel super cozy the first widget is actually from an app called i am and it's a affirmation app that i found and i really have been loving this app it basically just updates your phone and your home screen with different affirmations throughout the day i love affirmations i do my affirmations every single morning and i believe in manifesting and all of that good stuff so i love going on my phone and seeing a different affirmation every single time so the one i have right now is i am falling in love with taking care of myself and then if i swipe up it gives me more affirmations so this one is i leave behind anything that didn't go well today and welcome a new beginning tomorrow so just really cute little affirmations that just bring a smile to my face and i highly recommend this app if you're into affirmations as well and then next to that little widget i just have a picture that i have that i found from pinterest another cozy fall picture below that little widget i have the kindle app widget i have been really loving reading on my phone it's super easy to read on my phone especially when my baby is content napping on me and i can't really move from the couch i'll just grab my phone and read a book on the kindle app this is so much better than just scrolling mindlessly on instagram or on youtube it makes me feel so much better so much easier than trying to hold my baby and try to hold a large physical book you know highly recommend the kindle app for your phone if you want to limit how long you spend on instagram and on youtube or any other social media app definitely recommend and then right next to the kindle widget i just have another picture off pinterest right below that is yet another picture from pinterest and i just love these pictures they bring a smile to my face like i said i really wanted a cozy vibe for my phone which kind of sounds strange because i'm talking about a phone but when i open up my phone i don't want to be bombarded with clutter i want everything to look sleek and especially for fall just like i wanted pictures that bring me cozy vibes and then right below that i always forget what this part of the home screen is called i guess like the dock of your iphone i have the phone app and then text message app and then of course when you swipe to the left i have my app library with all the apps that i use but not on the daily basis where i would need them on the home page or on the home screen of my iphone i'm trying to think of my favorite apps that i can share with you guys because in the last what's on my iphone video i did share my app library so i don't want to go through all my apps again because i would just sound like a broken record you guys already know what apps i have but i guess the apps that i have been loving lately are probably goodreads i've been using that app a lot because i've been reading a lot i've really been loving the i am app which is what i just talked about with like the different affirmations i've also been loving 
loving the gratitude app so this is one that i actually just downloaded and just started using it's a gratitude journal but for your phone and i love having a gratitude journal but sometimes it can be hard to find time to sit down and write in my gratitude journal with a little three month old so i like that i can quickly just type in things that i'm grateful for on my phone while he's napping or while he's nursing and keep it pushing Let's see what else am i loving i recently downloaded the pango books app and i've been selling some of my books on there obviously i've been using instagram so i've been loving that pinterest i've been using makari a lot to sell things and i've been really good at updating my makari so if you want to shop some of the things that i'm selling definitely go on the makari app i've been selling books bathing suits mugs i've been in a huge decluttering mood and i just want to get rid of a bunch of stuff in time for the fall those are pretty much all the apps that i've been loving that are not the norm like banking apps or uber eats things like that I do have to update my phone case which i probably will buy a more like fall theme phone case but in case you're interested in knowing the phone case that i currently have this one is from caseify i will have it linked below if i can still find it i also think i have a code with caseify that you can use for money off but i definitely need to update it because this is not giving me fall vibes this is giving me spring and summer vibes and i'm over that 11 11 you guys forgot to also mention that i have the iphone 13 pro max in blue this is the iphone that i have i still haven't updated to the iphone 14 i really see no point i might upgrade to the new iphone that will most likely come out in september october depending on how different it is from the 13 pro max but honestly this phone is still working pretty well for me and i don't feel the need to upgrade anytime soon but yeah that is everything that's on my iphone fall edition i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video let me know in the comments below if you you are also over summer and if you're ready for fall vibes because same don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys